Hello, Darren here, the creative minimalist. www.thecreativeminimalist.com You know it. <laughs> you, you know it all by now. Oh dear. Um, I've been busy this week. I've been busy last week. Actually, I've been very busy, very, very busy all the time. Things are going, things are going well. Things are moving. Um, I just wanted to discuss. I want to discuss. <laughs> I want to discuss these things with you. I want to know exactly. <laughs> Get on with it, Darren. Um, I've just. Oh, I'm beginning my um March to April migration so that's basically what i wanted to to look at and what i'm planning on my layout for this month which is april plan with me april but i wanted to just first of all um i'm creating a new dashboard this is going to be my dashboard for march or it will be when it's when it's completed and stuck in um not march april so it's gonna be a bit bendy um, but that's going to be that's going to be my new oh it will be if i can straighten it out out of it um but this is uh each day i start i start with my morning thoughts morning pages and that goes into this into this journal and various other things get thrown in there as well if i'm doodling or if i'm writing um and that all goes into this journal so every day every day i begin with some quiet journal thinking time. Hold that in mind, hold that in mind. Because I've also got, I'm also using my Moleskine 2018 diary as a sort of, um, sort of mildly reflective sort of, um, just playing around type journal thing come the end of the day, but it is dated. So I try to keep things reasonably where I am and what I'm doing, um, playing with some watercolors yesterday. So I also have this as a daily type journal thing, reflective moment. I also have plenty of scrap bits of paper that I find myself playing with quite often. Now, back to the journal and there is a reason there is there is some rhyme or reason to my argument sorry i, I just had to just had to pause for the coffee there. <laughs> back back to where i am okay last month and i've discussed it here and struggled with it here working out um how to do whether i do a, a week week to view type thing um, because I have been, I, I've wanted to know what I'm doing during the week. So I've tried sort of this week to view for the last, well, la last month basically. But before I was doing a daily type thing. Um, now, I don't, I still don't know if it's really working. I still don't know what's working. Um, that I need a week's type overview. Now. This month, what I'm going to try, I've, tr I've put this in, because last month I didn't have a visual diary type thing here. <laughs> yes, I do have it in the Moleskine. But I wanted something in here. So this month, I'm trying this. So I've got my week obviously sort of laid out here, and I can add anything down this side for that week that needs doing. So what I'm going to try, I think, is move to a um, uh, two, two days for a page. So we'll go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, type thing. I'm going to see how that works and see if it, see how it plans out. <laughs> see how it pans out. Um, so I'll be using this a lot more as a weekly overview so I know what I'm doing and where I'm going and where I should be. I've also added a simple tracker and in here will also be my month 
to-do things, things that need to be done for the whole month. So I'm gonna track each day some important things that I want to do, sleeping, um, song work, fiction writing, blog, blog work, walking, exercise, gratitude, offering journal, yoga, meditation type things. So I've got my daily tracker, that's what I've added into here. Um, the other thing that I did have in here was an editorial calendar. I had my editorial um, blogging calendar in here as my part of my monthly monthly calendar because um, I had my March March stuff there and I had my March editorial calendar. That didn't work didn't work at all and um, I didn't refer to it didn't go back to it um, and basically hey look there's a tag that it even had a tag and it wasn't getting used so what I'm going to go back to is my little iconic essay um, book journal for the blogging so I've got my blog overview I've got my calendar and then I can write all my ideas and things for the blog posts in here. And this will become something that I refer to on a daily basis. So instead of, the plan is instead of going to the page in here that didn't work because it didn't have all the information that I needed, I will try it there. So that's the page that I'm not going to have. I will not have my blogging calendar in here, but I might add blog posts into here and I will be tracking blog posts. You still with me? Are you holding on tight now? Um, so that is my setup for April. That's going to be my setup. Oh, almost knocked everything flying. That's going to be my setup for April. Um, blog calendar, daily journal, um, daily reflection journal, and various other things but that that's the setup and I will see how it goes and what I'm going to do is go through um, probably a daily I I don't know whether I'm gonna plan the week I shall see and I will let you know next week when I return on that as to whether I go for half page I'd, I'd the quarter page I'd, I'd, let me explain come on get on the quarter page is good I like the quarter page, but the problem is sometimes it doesn't really quite give me enough room. I, I, I tend not to write small. I'm, I'm not a very good small, small sort of writer. So I like a bit more, more sort of width. So I, so I might go, might go across the page, but at the same time, I don't like wasting paper. See, these, these are the things that, these are my dilemmas. These are the dilemmas that the creative minimalist suffers with each day whilst drinking whilst drinking very nice coffee mm. and that is very nice coffee and um, so i will see how my day planner goes i will see what happens on that but that's my layout for april that's what i'm looking at to go with april any thoughts or comments please leave them wherever you see this video either on the blog or on youtube or anywhere else and in the oh and please remember these stickers, all the stickers that I use within my journaling process are normally or almost all available on the Etsy store, planarchy.uk uh, via planarchy. Uh, that's planning anarchy, planarchy. Um, so they're all available or should be available. I only sell the sort of stuff that I use myself if it's no good for me it won't be any good for anyone um but in the mi meantime have a safe week look after yourselves and plan your way because planning your way is the only way that will work for you this is darren the creative minimalist saying bye bye love you lots cheerio